Hi guys, an update on this solar garden ornament wind chime thing that I had a look at the other day. I replaced the LED, charged the battery up a bit and put it in there. And if I kept the panels covered, the light would come on. And if I uncovered the panels, the light would go off, indicating that there was something going into the panels and I was hoping there might just possibly have been enough there to recharge the batteries. Well we have had a couple of uh, sunny periods, uh, you might be able to hear it's starting to rain out there now, but the sun wasn't enough to actually recharge that battery so the light didn't come back on again after it had fully discharged. I'm just going to have a little look See if we've got anything on that battery. Uh, negative that end. Positive that end. Yeah, we've got about half a half a volt, which is not enough. If I stick that back on charge for a few minutes, I have no doubt that we'll get the lights back on again. In fact, if I just pop that one in there temporarily. Right, uh, I need a light now to shine on there to show that they go out. And we get light on there. I'll go and get torch about it. I did it with the light off the camera the other day. Yeah, that's enough. was briefly yeah, that one does it if you can see the light yeah, it's only just enough so these panels are taking sunlight and converting it but they're not generating enough power to actually charge that up i'm going to try cleaning them that was a suggestion a bit of toothbrush toothpaste and a toothbrush and try and clean them see if that makes any difference but i think i might have a look online and see how much a couple of little panels would cost all right Dampen the surface. Don't need them there. A bit of toothbrush, toothbrush, a bit of toothpaste. Oh, it's worth a try. It costs me nothing to do this. I don't expect it to work, but you never know. I mean, it looks better anyway, just because it's wet. A bit of dirt coming off. Whether it's enough to make any difference. See light going on off. So I'm doing it. project for the day is to go and collect in all your solar lights from the garden and clean them with toothpaste. <laughs> Been trying to think of little jobs for our 
grandsons to do so they can earn themselves some pocket money. Polishing the solar lights with toothpaste. Mm -hmm. I didn't even seem interested in, in using the lawnmower. I expect somebody will write in the comments about this is the wrong thing to do because it's roughening the surface and that's going to prevent UV light getting through or something like that. The simple answer is at the moment there isn't enough light getting through there to charge the battery anyway. See if I can actually get a polish on the surface. Cell doesn't look too bad. The other one looks like it's never going to work again. So, right, that's the update for today. So clearly, if I do that, the solar panel is definitely generating enough power to trigger the switch to switch on the light or the power from the battery but that is a battery that I've charged up as opposed to the original battery which I have now put some charge into Let's have a look see what that one says now still all right that's gone right up oh you can't see the sorry over there all right so that's gone right up to 1.38 volts so that's virtually fully charged which probably means that's going to lose its charge as quickly as it's got it right, let's put that in straight away the light comes on again it's just a matter of whether cleaning those um, panels will have made any difference depends if we get any sun tomorrow really I'm going to hang it up in the conservatory again. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.